morning. This is Peltas Error Instruments. Yes, what do we have? Uh, we have the Dirty Glitch, this model. And the Dirty Glitch, it already is in the name. It's a glitch model. It has a lot of lo-fi and also some crazy, crazy dark sounds. It has actually a lot of sounds. I think this is the Eurorack model with the most sounds because it gets 1000 or 99, but they count to zero. So let's say 1000 uh, different sounds, algorithms, something in there. They were all, um, yeah, like noisy and, and crazy, but the first 90, 90, I must say, uh, <laughs> 90, they are, uh, they are quite normal, like wavetable and this kind of stuff. So you can use it also for not experimental uh, purpose. But uh, if you like the experimental stuff, uh, it's definitely your model because you have a lot of choices. Um, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna uh, go to the parameters and uh, tell you a bit about it, about the f frequency, uh, the debug is, uh, you can push it and then you, uh, then it counts, uh, let's say 10. If you hold it in, it counts for the 100. And if you just tweak it, it counts for the one. It's not uh, not difficult. Uh, it has the same switch as uh, braids for people who know it, so that you can turn it. You feel this click click, and you push it. So it's a switch in there also. There is uh, a pad. It's like a sub oscillator. There's a sync. Uh, you can sync it with a clock. Uh, and there is uh, some high and low fi in the sound, what you can use in your setup. There are uh, four parameters to tweak the sounds, and uh, there are also, uh, of course, uh, CV inputs and uh, clock input. Uh, there is a difference in the modes uh, between the, zero, uh, the, the, the 90 normal modes and the other uh, uh, modes in usability of the clock and this uh, stuff. So. Uh, you can take a look at it, but it's not a, a, a big thing. Okay, let's hear it. Uh, enough uh, talking uh, and bullshit. All right, thanks. <laughs> Okay, that was a little bit the parameters. Now we're gonna go to the presets uh, the, and the difference of it. Of course, I'm going kind of fast because there's so much. You can already hear some drones that I just did. Yeah, it's it's good build. It's from uh, Austra Australia, I must say. We say Austria, but it's like Österreich. No, it's from uh, Australia. And it's made by Colin. It's made by uh, the, the, the Beast Tech. It's really, uh, yeah, cool stuff. Uh, Yes, let's hear something about the parameters.
past almost a 90, then it's going to be more experimental and more crazy. So uh, let's hear it. <laughs> Okay, and again, go on like this. Uh, there is a lot in here. Uh, there's gonna be more video. This is one of the first. I want to thank Colin uh, in Australia for for building this thing. Send it to Holland. It's not as close from each other. Uh, and uh, yeah, actually, if you are in experimental stuff, it's really cool. It's not that expensive. What I think. Uh, for the possibilities what it can it's around 250 something like that 260 something like this but uh yeah it's it's a cool device i really recommend it and uh, the build quality is good it's not wibbling knobs uh i kind of show you later how it works with the control voltage and this kind of stuff but uh yes thanks for watching okay i see you later ciao ciao